Well, Christian, welcome to Notts County. Uh, it's a busy day, it's a busy time, plenty of new signings arriving. Uh, what have you made of uh, your first impressions here? Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, come round, had a walk around the ground and that, and um, really impressed us. Can't wait to get going now. Um, there's a, there seems to be a, a kind of a positive feel about the club. I know that the season didn't end the way they wanted it to uh, last season, but do you kind of get that impression that there's a keenness to build further? Oh yeah, definitely. The vibe walking in, you just feel that it's a, one of the best clubs in the league and hopefully we'll go one better this season and get promoted. Well, you look around the place and, and you look at some of the crowds they had, particularly for the playoff games and, and the local derbies this season, and, and you feel that it could go higher, couldn't it? Yeah, definitely. It was My agent said to me on the way in, um, have a look what the attendances were because I'm not sure and then I looked at it it was like 17,000, 13,000 like bloody hell <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to get going hopefully the crowds will be here again this season um, What about yourself as a player for those that didn't see you playing last season for Chesterfield now you've got lots of goals yeah. tell, us about, <laughs> tell us about what Notts fans can expect to see from you Hopefully that again uh, more goals um, hopefully better than last season to push us up the league and um, yeah I just like to work hard get hold of it make runs in behind and to put the ball in there, which is what I'm paid to do. You scored 20-plus goals in, in what was obviously a struggling team last season, given the way that, that things ended. Uh, so is there a, you know, is, is that kind of your aim again, another another 20 next season? More, to be honest with you, hopefully. Um, um, I was in a team that was relegated, obviously, but um, hopefully this year we've been in a team that's up there for promotion. I'll get 25, if not more, hopefully. What was it particularly about this club that, that's encouraged you to come here because I mean, it's it's clearly early in the summer isn't it you've made a, a pretty early decision compared to some footballers who sort of hang on till the end of July before deciding when where to go yeah just through playing here before previously I know a couple of the lads here as well um, the ground obviously the fans everything really everyone's just ticking every box so I'm just glad to get it done and over the line now before pre-season uh, who do you know that's here already um, I know Brizzo DJ I was on a course with Toots, Elliot, so yeah, I know a few of them. Have you picked their brains about what it's like here? No, I've not spoke to any of them about it, to be fair, but um, I'm sure they'll be all right when I come in first day. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, as, as we mentioned earlier, you, you kind of had that disappointing end to the season with Chesterfield. I wonder if uh, you believe you get the feeling from Knotts that you can be, uh, you know, at the other end of the scale next season and at the other end of the table as well. Yeah, definitely. I'm too... I come back into the league, didn't I, two years ago, and I've had two relegations. So that's the last thing I want on my mind these days. I want to be opposite end of the table, straight up there. Um, what about the manager, Kevin Nolan? Of course, bags of experience and and kind of well and truly with his feet under the table now. In, in terms of not in terms of longevity of managers, he's he's having a good a good crack at it. How much of an influence was he to to, to you to come here? Yeah, definitely. He's only stopped playing a few years ago, didn't he? He's got massive experience from the Premiership and that. Um, so he'll be a benefit on my career, hopefully, and hopefully he'll push me on to the next level. We look forward to seeing you play. Congratulations. Thank and you. And welcome. Chris, just give us an idea of what your emotions have been like over the last 24, 48 hours. Yeah, um, when I found out on... I think a bit got rejected, didn't it, the other day, and I heard about that and said they're probably going to come back again. I was just thinking, please, you know, because with what happened in January when I was signing for Bradford and it got pulled last second, actually last second, and um, I was just buzzing it's got over the line so yeah. we'll shut down here today to get signed what was that like because that, that must be pretty crazy as a player thinking you're going to go somewhere there only for it to fall through at the last minute yeah I was devastated it was literally about 8 o'clock on deadline day I was in the ground with the chairman manager and ready to sign and they said Chesterfield not having any of it I went back in the next day to training at Chesterfield and I was just a bit gutted but obviously carried on stayed professional and scored a few more goals and luckily I'm here now I mean, obviously, you look around at the ground and the stadium, the facilities. What have you made of those? It's particularly the home changing room. A lot of players <laughs> see, see, look at it and go, "Wow!" I've only ever been in the away changing room, and that's yeah, it's not the best. I went in there first again today, and I thought, "Bloody hell, it's not changed." And then when I went in that one, I was gobsmacked. To be fair, I just didn't wasn't expecting it. So the facilities here, sorry, are top class, and I can't wait to get going. And what do you think the overall club's ambition should be for next season? Do you think promotion certainly on the agenda? Surely, yeah. If the what's just happened this season um, if they've I was it fourth or fifth hopefully one better and then get the automatic promotion and get up into League One uh, you know, it seems to me I've watched the video compilation of all your goals you seem to be score your left foot right foot you, you seem to be almost like the complete strike you don't mm. seem to have a weak foot I wouldn't say that to be fair <laughs> I just swung my right foot and hope for the best but um, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll back myself in any situation. If or when I'm, I've got a clear shot on goal, I'll, I'll back myself either foot to at least work the keeper and get it on target to try and score. Uh, was, was it a bit of a concern with all the bids that were getting rejected at the time? Did you think, oh, am I going to have a, a, a summer where I'm not really sure what's going to happen? Yeah, to be fair, yeah, I thought... I had it in my mind that I'd be going back to Chesterfield for pre-season and then if anything happened there, then it would happen during, while I'm training. But um, I'm just really happy now to get it over the line and before holidays and everything so I can relax now and enjoy myself. And when you played against Notts, what, what did you make of them last time? Because actually Chesterfield's performance is arguably one of the best of the season, wasn't it? Probably because the cameras are there for <laughs> us. But, um, yeah, we, we knew it was a tough game. We planned all week, literally, how to deal with... The two strikers up top and um, yeah we just dealt with the whole situation we had a lot of detail into it and we, luckily it worked that day but unfortunately for you guys it didn't but um, yeah it was a tough game and we had to raise our game and they brought a lot of fans as well which was always nice to see when the away ends full and um, hopefully more of that this year. And obviously when you came up you've, you've come through the hard route and you are non-league mm. to the football league what, what's, what that, what's that journey been like sum it up for us? To be fair, when I was non-league, I wasn't, didn't expect once to get back in the football league. Really? I just enjoyed myself. And then when I went to Stockport, the manager didn't want me, so we went along to Mac. And even when I was scoring goals there, I just, it never entered my mind going into the football league. Really? I like genuinely, I was like shocked. And then when Chesterfield come calling, I was on holiday in France, and um, I got the first plane home and then signed. Did and then you? Went back you, you ended your holiday early? No, I went back out. Yeah. So because my missus, his family live over there. Yeah. So I left her there on a birthday and then <laughs> came and signed and then shot back out there because a lot there are a lot of good players in non-league don't they you, I mean you probably should make the step up but don't I mean would you say that like, there is a, a hotbed of talent there that is undiscovered yeah oh yeah definitely literally go through every team and there'll be at least two or three players that can play in football league and just about getting that opportunity and luckily a couple of years ago I got that and mm. hopefully I'll be here for a long longer more time brilliant